Hello there. Uh, welcome back to Cost and Management Accounting in Five. And uh, this video, we want to look uh, at question 4.2 of the question paper of June 2024. So we are just going to go through uh, question uh, 4.2. Uh, so this is uh, what we have according to this video. So we are going to go through uh, the question and then answer a uh, question that are following. Uh, you are the cost and management accountant of Merlin manufacturers and the man managers ask you to assist with the calculation of the overage application rates using the estimated information for the year 2022. So you're given a table that you're given there and then you're given total manufacturing overage is 650,000 rands, budgeted units is 30,000 30, and then we have put a direct material cost per unit is 80 rand. And then direct labor cost per unit, 90 rand. Machine hours per unit, two hours. And then we are given um direct labor hours per unit, which is four hours. Then 4.2.1 reads calculate the override application rate using material as basis. So um what is important for you is to put down the formula first, and then they are be able to substitute according uh, to the elements of the formula that you have put down. So uh let's go to, uh, to the um first question, which is 4.2.1, and uh we are going to just going to first of all put down the formula of calculating the material cost, uh, 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 calculating using the material cost as basis. But basically, uh, using material cost as basis is the hint that you're given uh, by the question that the uh, material cost is going to be your denominator, as simple as that. So um, what you're going to do now is uh, to put down the formula. We are now saying it's equal to budgeted overheads. Uh, budgeted overheads. Then obviously we are going to divide now by the basis, which is budgeted direct material cost. Uh, budgeted but budgeted direct material cost. Uh, let's do, maybe try to uh, create some space there. Uh, budgeted direct material cost. And uh, now we multiply by. Over one. So what does it mean? It means our answer we're going to leave it in, in a percentage since we are multiplying by hundred over one. So um, these are the elements that we're just going to look in in the table that are given there. Are we able to deduce these figures? That's the question. Then we now have budgeted overheads. Uh, budgeted overheads. We figure for budgeted overheads there. Uh, we are given it there is uh total manufacturing overheads which is a uh, six hundred and fifty. Remember, uh, the first uh, 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 lines there are saying managers ask you to assist with the uh, uh to assist with the information that is there to assist with the calculation of the overage application rates using the estimated information. That's the hint that is telling you that that's budgeted. Then uh, we have got 650,000 being our numerator is budgeted overheads. So uh, we can just go back there and substitute 650,000. So we are saying 650,000 is the budgeted overhead. So we are saying uh, 600, uh, 650,000 uh, there is our numerator. Then our denominator, we, don't, we want budgeted direct material cost uh, that, but we are not given it as a one as a figure. We are able to calculate it. We are only given at uh, the budgeted units. Uh, it's 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 ten thousand, and then the material cost per unit. We are given it as eighty rands. So we can now find uh, the uh, direct material cost by saying ten thousand times eighty. Then uh, you get your uh, direct material cost. So we come here now. We are saying uh, eighty times ten thousand. Of course, this one also is in runs. So if you calculate it as such, uh, you're going to see that uh, then obviously you're going to multiply by 100 over 1. And then uh, uh, here you're going to see that you're going to get a 27% to the nearest uh, whole number. So this is what we have on the first part. Then obviously we are now moving on to the second part now. Uh, the second part is saying calculate the override application rate using the labor basis as basis. So what does it mean? Labor as basis, as simple as that. We are going to make labor as the denominator. So that's what we're going to do. So um, we are on 4.2.2, uh, 4.2.2. We are saying the formula is now budgeted over as numerator is not changing. We are seeing that uh, numerator is not changing, uh, budgeted over as. What is changing is the basis of, uh, of, of the calculation, which is the denominator. And then uh, uh, denominator, obviously, they are saying labor is basis. So we're going to use a budgeted direct labor cost. Budgeted direct labor cost, and then we're going to multiply by 100 over 1. As yes, simple as that. So um, we do that, uh, we get the correct answer. So a budgeted over is obviously we now we now know the budgeted over is that is 650 a year. So this is our numerator. 
650,000. Uh, basically, we are saying 650,000 over budget direct labor. We are going to deduce it from the information that we are given. So you see that um, we have got 20,000 units, but we want to see the, 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 the uh, direct labor cost per unit. We are given it there. We are given it as 90. So basically, we are saying 30,000 times 90. That be, uh, becomes our denominator. So uh, as clear as it is, uh, it becomes symbol. So uh, we come here. We are now saying uh, 90 times 30,000. Of course, uh, this is these are runs. And also uh, runs here. And then uh, we, we, we try to calculate them. You would see that the, you are going to arrive at an answer of 20. Remember, we are not playing the answers over one, sorry. Uh, we have left there. We are supposed to express it as a percentage, yes, as a percentage times added over one. And then um, we are going to get it as a 24%. As simple as that. So um, we'll go to the next one, which is 4.2.3. 4.2.3, uh, uh, it's here. 4.2.3 say calculate the overhead application rate using budgeted units as basis. Budget units as basis. Now it's now unit. It's now in units uh, using budgeted units as basis. So what does it mean? It means budgeted units is going to be our denominator, like what we we're doing uh, earlier. Uh, as simple as that. Four point two point three. We are saying uh, four point two point three. We are saying it is equal to uh, the formula budgeted overheads. Over uh, budgeted uh, units. We are not going to multiply on this one. We don't multiply by 100 over 1. I will do that. Uh, we are going to leave the answer in the runs. Budget over is, we know that uh, we have been uh, putting this figure as 650. 650,000. In budgeted units, uh, we know that is 30,000. We can just maybe try to uh, refer back and uh, clarify. Budgeted units are as clear as it is as given here, and uh, it's crystal clear, 30,000. So uh, we are going to say uh, 30,000, right about 30,000. And what are we getting? We are getting uh, the answer in runs. So we are going to say the answer is uh, 21.67, which we can uh, further on reduce to become uh, 22. If you round off with the nearest uh, one number, 6 is going to change our 1 to 2, so it becomes 22 uh, runs. So, uh, this is our final answer. So this is uh, what we have according to this video. Uh, hopefully, uh, this video was helpful. Let's meet again in the next video. As for this video, I'm signing out.